What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Look, we up to 905. Let's get this thing to 1,000. Let's hit that 1G. Let's hit that 1G+. plus. You know what I'm saying? 1K, whatever y'all want to call it. You know what I'm saying? You know, 1G is 1 grand, 1,000. 1K, you know what I'm saying? It's 1,000. It could be 1 kilobyte, whatever you want to call it. Whatever spin you want to put on the K. But anyway, yo, let me say this before I get started. Yo, I, I hope, uh, let, 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 let me enlighten some of you folks who probably don't know this. But um, when you leave a message on a content, on a content creator's page, although you delete it, the content creator still sees it. And he can screenshot it. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, if you're going to say something stupid on somebody's page and you blow, they could use that against you. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I hope all y'all blow. Every last one of y'all. So y'all can stop going to other people's page and putting stupid stuff up there and you can put it on your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, word. Like, for real. But anyway, you know... I, I think my mom's was reading my mind because she sent me some long ass message talking about why don't you do something more bullying. Now, the reason why is because I was bullied. I was bullied until I was bullied from the first to the fifth grade. Not all the time. You know what I'm saying? But certain people, you know, push the envelope. And for you guys who are getting bullied now, you young guys and y'all in school and stuff like that, uh, this is good. Hey, look, I don't know if your parents might agree with what I'm going to tell you, but I can bet you any amount of money it works every time. As a matter of fact, the next bully would be like, nah, I don't know if I'm going to mess with that one. Trust me. Okay. Sean Taylor used to be a bully towards me because Sean Taylor, he wasn't really because we was cool. I mean, we used to go to kindergarten together. His mother and my mother used to walk us to school all the time. But you know how it is when you're growing up and you young lions, you know what I'm saying? He was more of a lion. I was more like a lion, the lover. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that was me. I was looking at females. I wasn't thinking about fighting your ass. Like, for what? Damn, dude. You know what I'm saying? We, we ate fritters together. <laughs> It, it, it basically just flour, water, and sugar, and we called them pancakes. You know what I'm saying? Me and Sean and all that. that that's what we did. So one day we we in the hallway, and I'm gonna give y'all two. I'm gonna give y'all two stories. It's for the, the, the this for the kids, y'all. It's for the young folks. So me and Sean tell. And let me tell you something. Sean, there was a dude named Felix, who was in my sister class. I think he. So he's he was one year older than us, and he was he was boxing. He got into boxing like real heavy. And I forgot his last name, but they said that he was, um, I believe he had turned golden gloves or was was going for his golden gloves or something like that. But, yo, dude was, he couldn't, basically, he, he wouldn't fight you because he, he, he had them, he had them hands, you know. He, he was basically a semi-pro at a young age. That's, that's when it starts. But anyway, um, so they used to train with him every now and then. And they gain technique from him. So we in the hallway and I'm watching Sean and, and Ito and, and I believe Tito was there or Guso. I believe it might have been Guso. And they over there in the hallway and they boxing. And, 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 and um, Ito caught Sean. And I'm like, I started laughing. And next thing you know, it was like, yo, why don't you put on the gloves since you find things funny? <laughs> I'm like, man, I will fight y'all. Like, ah, you fighting now. Yeah, nah, you fight. All right, all right, well, I ain't got no choice. You know what I'm saying? If me and Sean had uh, altercations, I knew he had hands, but you know, I'm like, whatever. So, boom, we put on the gloves, and I'm a lefty, but I had no defense. So, Sean, he seen that I ain't have no defense. He knew all about D. I went and I threw a left jab just to throw a stick of jab out there. He sidestepped it, and Cole caught me with an overhand right. And, and, my, and mind you, after I, after I, after I punch, I pull back and have my guards up. He called me right here. <laughs> Dummy wop me, B. I seen like five of them. So boom. 
Ito got Ito got mad. Ito's Puerto Rican, you know what I'm saying? He got pissed, B. He was like, yo, man, what the f you doing, man? You doing this now? So boom. He had these mitts on. And he he is like, yo, swing at me. I looked at him like, dude, I'll take because he was shorter than me. I'm like, dude, I'll take your head off. He said, swing at me. As many times as you want, as hard as you can. He stood right in front of me, B. I took that swing. Whoo! There was no Ito there to be found. He bobbed it. Swung again. He bobbed it. Weaved it. Bobbed it. Weaved it. And each time he bobbed and weaved, pop, pop, he popped me twice. Pop, 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 pop. I was like, how the hell do you hit this dude? You know what I'm saying? So, boom. I said, that's what I want you to do to Sean. Basically telling me bob and weave him. So, um, and mind you, Sean was like sort of a bully. So, boom. We get back up, I get in my lefty stance. And Sean did something. He tried that overhand right again. And this time, I weaved it and I caught him with the left in his chest. Boom! Sean lost his breath and he said, I gave up. He said, I give up. I said, I gave up. He, he, said, he said, I give up. He lost his breath. You know what I'm saying? God bless his soul, man. Because, you know, I'm going to tell y'all what bullying did for me. Because I was one. And the first bullying started off with Gakko and Chi Chi. They used to bully me all the damn time. I ain't want to fight them. And them dudes was wild, man. I'm like, them crazy ass. Them Puerto Ricans was crazy, B. Y'all understand. Them dudes, him, Peter, and them, they was off the chain. So one day, because they used to just punch on me, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they'll get they'll get chains, try to hit on me with it. I used to snatch the chain, haul ass. Be like, because I was fast. They couldn't catch me. But anyway, when they did catch me, they was punching all off me, B. But um, boom. It's one day I just got tired of it. And that was always me. When I got tired of it, bro, I snapped. And then when I snapped, I don't know what happened. But I remember this. Yo, there was that church that was over there on Cypress Avenue. And adults out there and everything. They just letting them kids beat on you. They ain't care. Yo, they was beating on me. And while they was hitting me, I, wa I, was, I was so mad. I snapped. There was this garbage can over there. He said, I don't know if it's still there. But he used to always be out there and... It was always full, heavy as hell. Yo, I grab that garbage bag, put it over my back, and put it over my back, and was about to smash the motherfuckers right over the head with it. Excuse my language, y'all, but I'm dead ass. Where I got the strength from, I don't know. I had to be like eight years old, B. You know what I'm saying? And when they seen that, they thought they seen the devil, bro, because I was huffing, I was puffing. You know what I'm saying? All I remember is seeing just red but i seen them and i just wanted to get their ass beat <laughs> i got tired of it and the set and and that was the last time they ever messed with me they ever messed with me again and this next one i know who so i know some of y'all know who it is. his name was mangus class bully b and he was like two years older than everybody so he could get away with that and i believe james heard was another one but he wasn't as bad but Mangus, yo, he used to always slap me in the back of the head, you know what I'm saying? Be mushing me, you know what I'm saying? Because I was, I was like the, the, the fourth shortest in the class, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, we had dudes in our class in the fifth grade that was like 5'11", you know what I'm saying? Right, Sean? But anyway, um, you know, so Mangus, he did it like three times. He just, and I'm like, yo, stop, man, stop. He ain't want to listen. Be after that third time, I turned around and cold copped his ass right in this goddamn nose, straight left, boom, broke his nose, almost got suspended. But if it wasn't for Chris, um, Sebastian, what's the other dude? What's the other dude? The dude reminded me of him on here, man. Ah, Otis, they all vouched for me, you know what I'm saying? They was like, nah, he didn't start it, he didn't start it. He, everybody did. That was the last time that dude ever messed with me. Mangus ain't never touched me again. So that's my point, y'all. Look, if somebody bullying you, man, yo, cold cop their ass, punch them dead in their goddamn nose, man, as hard as you could. I bet you they won't touch you no more because they know that, yo, this dude is going to hit me and it hurt. And I used to work out, too, when I was like seven, eight years old. I used to put books inside the book bag and lift them with my arms and lay on the, lay, lay on the couch and lift them with my legs. So I was a little cut up little kid and I had strength. You know what I'm saying? So I, I didn't know it, but... You know, I used to do that stuff. So when I cold copped him, B, oh, he felt it. It broke his nose to where, his, like, the cartilage was broke, B. Like, straight up. <laughs> no bull, you know. And I'm not trying to say I was some tough guy because, I look, I was always, I was always after the females. But, yo, bullies, 
punch them dead in their jaw, B. Hard as you could. I bet you they'll leave you alone and don't stop. Because look, once you hit them, they're going to think about, damn, I don't want to get hit again and keep hitting their ass. You know what I'm saying? Old Man Boxing, signing out. Peace.